What's up everybody, Sam Burr here. Welcome back to a brand new video in Semivos stock. Today we're going to be detailing along the sides of this river which eventually funnels out into the whole Semivostok Bay. But quickly, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the like button and leave a comment because I really appreciate it. So the builds today, they're going to start with the smallest up in this end and slowly work their way down into something much bigger, much more grand. So this first part is in the city of Sevsk, which is just a little bit out of the main urban area. Now I'm just going to be using the European Suburban Pack, which you can buy on the Steam Workshop. It's only like $4 and it's got like oh, almost 100 buildings. So it's really cool. I love using this. And the look that I was going for here is like pretty... Um, I guess poor, <laughs> poor, um, because there's lots of trees, it's a dirt road, it's not really manicured, and yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it just doesn't look that nice, like, I don't even utilize the view, I don't utilize the waterfront area, um, if it was a rich area, of course, we would utilize the view and things like that, so I should also mention, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but I moved the pedestrian pathway that was a originally in this area which I'll show you in a second it was originally right up at the bridge and it's now moved a bit closer so there we go and just quickly this is the ferry station I updated it put in some cafes a little shop there and some boardwalks it looks really nice and of course I moved it forward Okay, so let's move on to something a little bit bigger. So this area here, it's got the train that goes straight through it. That's what we're going to be working on. But it also has the pedestrian pathway right there for easy access. Of course, I'm going to utilize that. And the golf course is right there. Now, the design I wanted to use is just very basic Russian social housing, I guess, or just generic housing with the big housing blocks and things like that. And I guess it, it is kind of, in my mind, a bit poorer because it is right on the train line. Like you, you literally you open your window and there's a train right there. So I like, obviously the richer people wouldn't live there, um, but it's still a good location. It's an inner city area, but I just use these very generic looking white buildings, but hey, I still, <laughs> I'm still getting moist. No, that sounds gross. I still think they look really good. And I think why I use the more uh, grid type structure is because some of the other areas in this video, they're more free flowing versus this one is more grid like. So it's nice to have a bit of comparison. Um, I've also thrown in a whole lot of parking areas. Of course, you have to place down the parking lots yourself which I love and I think it looks so much more realistic when you see all those little people parking their cars and things like that. Now, to make this area look even poorer, <laughs> I don't really detail too much. I generally leave all of the natural vegetation there. So all of the area between the fence that I just put and the road, it's just empty space. Now that could eventually be changed into like a corner store or some other little houses, but I think it looks really good just leaving it like that. It really fits in with the whole poor theme that I'm going for. Dirt pathway, that's probably not really an official pathway. See, there's lots of trees going through the whole area and like there's a few playgrounds, which is pretty common, but yeah, it's not really detailed. It's very generic. Trees are just kind of everywhere. There's lots of big bits of grass and I wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> Also, this is the ferry station for this area. Now, there's this existing pedestrian pathway that's elevated that goes over the intersection, but I do make it a little bit more windy because if you watched my uh, Old Town video, the pathway there is quite windy over the intersection. So that's something that I want to keep going, that, that same theme. So let's get into the final look and we'll move on to the next area. The 
So this area is literally just on the other side of the road. Um, it's a little bit more interesting of a design because we have main roads surrounding all of it. So I had to use this road here, which is the median road. It cuts with the median, so it doesn't have the intersection. Um, I didn't want to add any main road connection onto that main road above or the one below because they all have main traffic, especially that bottom one. So the only connection in to this area is that little one to the left of the screen right there. Um, it's, also, it's also a little bit worrying because there's a lot more people living in this area versus the other areas because the buildings that I use here are really large. They're the real big Russian style apartment buildings. Um, but actually, surprisingly, a lot of them just end up using the pedestrian pathway, which is really cool. And I love seeing them all use their pathways. And the I don't know if you realize what I just did then but the buildings I flipped them around because they were connecting to the main road but I want all the buildings to connect to the little path of the little road that I've put down there the, the squarish one so I don't want any large buildings connecting to the main roads because obviously then people are going to stop on the main roads or they're going to spawn cars on the main road and then and then of course that's going to um, back up all of the other traffic on the road so yeah just getting it all off and um, yeah so you can see the, the buildings are really large we've got a little what is that a baseball court and um, we've got this little plaza area here so they can kind of just look straight down and this is a pretty common method uh, sometimes they do have another building in the middle but I didn't want to overcrowd it too much I still wanted to give them a little bit of a view and um, oh yeah this is the pathway so I moved it to the other side a little cafe there um, it's 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 a little bit wavy <laughs> but I think it looks so good Last but not least is Baransk, and um, we're going to be working on this whole big green patch here along the shoreline. This part took quite some time because the elevations change. Um, so the elevation here was actually way too high versus the water level. So originally the water level was like two or three meters higher than it is now. And I didn't always realize that. So what happened was, the water level was high, it went down for whatever reason, and then I started building new areas around that new low water level. And I couldn't, and then if we went back and look at the older areas of the city, suddenly we have these weird sea walls that are like five meters higher above the sea water, above the water level. And it looks really weird. So I needed to lower the sea wall here. Um, it's now back down to the C level but then we still have that weird other level so I have to break it up with this other wall barrier right there and I don't know why but it just took so long managing that wall and uh, managing putting in rocks and things because this part here I wanted to put in this Russian Russian tower and instead of doing a boardwalk or seawall whatever you want to call it all the way along I wanted to break it up because to me a seawall could look a little bit too much all the way, it might look a little bit too artificial. I like to break it up with some rocks and put in this nice tower. Now, of course, the pathway has to continue on um, and it also needed access to get off, off the main pathway. So if they want to just walk along the boardwalk and then just get off in this area, they can. Um, a lot of rocks in this area. And yeah, so this is like the part that I was trying to say before where I don't want it to look super artificial with the, the seawall. So I wanted to break it up with some more, I guess, rocks and a few other plants. So this area, it basically had to follow this same type of look I was going for on the other side of this part here. So there's the other side of the bridge and it's a, it's kind of like a restaurant area, some shops, lots and lots and lots of pedestrian activity, um, lots of smaller roads, lots of older buildings, and they also use the boardwalk pathway. So I had to continue on with that look. Otherwise it just wouldn't look 
the same. And I think having the, the same look on either side of the bridge really just fits. It fits really well. So I actually do just copy some of the buildings from the other side, throw it in there. But the difference from the other side is that side is only commercial whereas this side there is some commercial that under that goes under the bridge here but it actually slowly faces out into residential so i i always like to put i always like to put something under the bridges because the bridges it's such a wasted bit of space right so why not it's like oh questionable things happen under the bridge so we need to fill it in with at least something so in this case i've just put some little shops down these are the buildings that I copied just from the other side, so I th I'm pretty sure they are residential. Are they? Or maybe they're commercial. Either one, no, I think they're, I think they're residential, but they, they give us the more Russian style historical look, but it's a little bit more advanced than the old town, um, different era, I suppose. And so yeah, this area, it's, it's going to be quite a mixture of the older style buildings. And then I throw in a few towers, which I wasn't actually planning on throwing in a few towers, but it kind of just happened and I happened to just like it. So yeah, but these types of buildings, I really love them because they're so compact. They have a high population count and they, they have a lot of detail in them. They look really cool. I threw in some of these more modern Russian buildings. Well, they're not modern, but maybe like the 60s, 70s. I don't know, but they're very Soviet style. I just wanted a nice balance of the older style versus the new style in this area. I didn't want it to just be like old, for example. And if you want to go one step further, I think it looks cool to have a variety of roofs and you might be like, what? But I don't know, just having the, the pointy roofs and then the flat roofs and then the high buildings, the low buildings, the vegetation, the rocks, I don't know, it just looks really good because there's so much variety in this area. And just a little tip, a tip for you guys, if you have a lot of empty random space between buildings, just fill it in with plants or just trees basically, basically, because once it's filled in with trees, it looks done, it looks so different. And that is one of my techniques that I always do, even if it's just like basic, the basic oak tree, it looks good once it's filled in. In terms of the green space, there's two little areas left for that. So this is one of them. And the other one is at the area where I copied and pasted all of those buildings from the other side. Um, this is the main bit right here. The only thing I'm thinking is, should I have put a ferry station here? There is a ferry station on this side. It's just a little bit up. So it's maybe, um, I don't know, I wouldn't say a kilometers walk, maybe like 700 meters, but it's a nice walk. It's like you walk along the shoreline, so I'm, it could be okay, but then again, the population is quite high, so I'm, I don't know. I like, there's no doubt that there would, there would be people who would use it, but the only thing is if I do add a ferry station over here, then I have to add in a road that gets to it and then all of the foundation and surroundings and detailing. I don't know. I should have done it. So everyone in the future, there's going to be more little videos like this where I just basically mass build things because I've kind of been putting off like all of the generic builds. I always try to do something a little bit more interesting for you guys. But anyway, that's the end of this video. I'm um, sorry if I sound a little bit dead or dull. I, I am getting over a cold. That's why I haven't posted anything in a few days. So forgive me for that. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I think we'll be working on the downtown space. So keep a lookout for that and I'll see you guys then